Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Shri channel. Uh, in today's video, I wanted to take uh, my Tesla out on a quick test drive uh, because I received the 10.69.2 FST beta update uh, and I wanted to see how, what all improvements have been made. And these are the uh, release notes, which I'll put them up um, on the screen you can pause and read through them quite a bit of uh, changes that have been made um, and a bit uh, it's an extensive list of uh, updates so it's going to be interesting uh, and for today's test I, I have added a couple of uh, waypoints to see uh, to test out some of the left and right turns and see how it does and it's going to be mainly city driving uh, I'll try to keep the video not uh, a little short so that you know uh, and then cover the lefts and rights as much as possible uh, so la let's see how it does So at the start of my drive, when I started from my home, there's actually an unprotected left turn, which has always been tricky because the visibility is really bad. Um, and then there's a lot of high speed traffic going through that street. And then it, it struggled a bit, like it always has been struggling. Uh, but so I thought this version would have improved and it had to make a left, it tried making a making a right so uh, so that didn't work as expected uh, but other than that the rest of the drive so far has been going well uh, no issues and it's been some time since I did a beta video and I, I think uh, it's been over a couple of months since I received the last update so this one was a major update for sure where it ten went out to internal testers sometime back but then it has been you know uh, they pushed it for like a few weeks till it went for a wider release and I think yesterday it went out to uh, about a hundred thousand uh, testers so that's that's good I think it's doing a good job in maintaining the lane because this stretch sometimes because of the la the way the lane is set up it splits into two and it gets confused sometimes but that didn't happen in this uh, drive so that's good and let's see yeah yep really smooth uh, drive so far In terms of the setting, I keep my speed limit, uh, the drive speed limit to be 10 above the speed limit because on highways, that's usually the norm here. Uh, but then in cities, I bring it down manually to, uh, you know, five below. Uh, I think it would help if you had two settings where city streets, you could set it to five above the limit and then uh, highways, you can set it to, uh, Okay, let's see how it does the left turn. Pretty aggressive. Uh, the visibility was a little less. I would have probably slowed down a little and uh, and then made the left turn, but I think it was okay, not too bad. So we are coming up on our first uh, left turn here. So this is a parking lot. And I wanted to see how it does in driving inside the parking lot. So let me bring my speed down to 15. So it's trying to make a left here. Well, it <laughs> it's, it's okay. I think it's doing well. Okay, it's so this is pretty much parking, uh, driving inside the parking lot to get me to the entrance of the church. So I just said it because you saw there were pretty tricky 
uh, left and right and and there's a lot of construction going on as well so i think it did good here let me say and say continue trip and put it back to drive and turn on beta let's see how it does so it has to take me back all the way in the parking lot so it does look like it's trying to make a right turn here it can't uh, yeah there's no right there because those are parking spots so it got me uh, okay so i think it's taking me on the street now even though the map says something else so let's see how it does so this says it's exit but then it got me in here pretty aggressive so let me slow it down so I've slowed it down brought my speed a little lower <laughs> uh, I think it could have continued there if the map had updated soon but then it decided to get me inside the parking lot and then uh, drive through it again and it entered on the exit so that exit sign is, is is probably set up by the church so it's a little tricky so I think at handling that would be uh, a difficult scenario because it can be marked any any different way maybe I should go ahead and report that even though it happened like a few uh, like a minute ago okay so we have a few tricky lefts and rights again and this is a pretty steep curve uh, handled it well okay I think it's making a wider right uh, since this is a lane with no uh, lane markings um, it could have um, it could I think it could keep itself a little better on the right uh, but that's I think no harm done okay so it checked to see if anyone was coming over it didn't find anyone so it's and I've observed you uh, in, in these streets where there are no lanes it likes to keep itself on um, in the center and then once uh, you see uh, a car coming in the opposite direction, it brings itself to the to the right. So this is again a tricky turn. So we need to be on the other side there. So let's see how it does. So this is really tricky drive for it for sure. And make sure you're you keep your hands on on the wheel uh, so that it, it knows you are present because I've heard stories where people didn't do that often and uh, they had strikes so there are two cars it recognized them then it's making a left now pretty good like really well done I think I think other than the exit from my place which is a gated community it's it's it drove 100% and I think it's doing really well great I feel like it's a great improvement for sure and these streets were pretty tricky so making the right here pretty good right turn I'll just reduce the speed manually like I said a little bit Yeah, I think it's doing a really good job in this drive so far. I'm, I'm impressed. Uh, I did try the previous version a lot off camera uh, and there, there were times where it struggled. But I think this drive, I can tell this is good, definitely an improvement. Okay, there's someone coming uh, on the other direction okay it stopped I thought it wouldn't but then it stopped so since it's uh, it made it out and there was someone else coming again and it was pretty much in the middle of the road I didn't want it to stop so I, I pressed the accelerator a little bit 
So it's our turn. I don't know why it didn't go. So I, I press the accelerator a little bit and uh, let me mark that. So our next destination is up. I think uh, the overall drive, other than me pressing the accelerator a bit uh, for a couple of times here in the back. Uh, yeah, so the stops, I, uh, it's being a little careful. Uh, probably can go a little faster because there are a lot of impatient drivers behind me. So this is our stop. It will probably uh, just go ahead and stop. Since there's a car behind me, I'll pull over. So yeah, overall, I think it did really well. Pretty impressive. Uh, great drive for sure. Uh, let's see. So I've added another destination real quick. Um, and it. I was in the parking lane, it got me over fine to the left, uh, to the actual lane. And then we're making a left turn here. So this is another stop sign, let's see how it does. So the car, uh, the truck came in before us. Now it should proceed, let's see, it shouldn't stop. This is stop always, so yep. Yeah, okay, I think it did well in this uh, stop. Um, I didn't have to press the accelerator. Okay, there was no stop here and then it stopped. Huh. Okay, it struggled a bit there. Uh, so there was no stop. I don't know why it yielded. There was no yield or stop sign for us. And the guy behind me was coming in pretty fast. That was interesting, but then, uh, yeah, I reported that, uh, so it could, it could have kept going, but it slowed down. Maybe it saw something I didn't, uh, like a yield or something. I don't know. So we have another left and then a right turn coming. So I'll let the video run, but I think overall, uh, it's definitely an improvement for sure. changing lanes to bring me over to the right most lane um, because we have a right uh, coming up in about 0.2 miles <coughs> were green so it did a smooth right turn yeah yeah I think the uh, the handling it's it's not that jerky in anymore I feel like it's pretty smooth in in doing the turns and acceleration as well you don't feel the jerkiness that you felt before uh, only a few places where it needs some more work I think in because if, if it's a new uh, you know like, like a new intersection where it, it expects something else and uh, it, it didn't have a stop even though it tried to stop so other than that i think overall it was a great drive great improvement for sure uh, i'll do a few more uh, test drives uh, with this version and see how it handles in different cases uh, so i think i'll go ahead and stop the video for today and then hope you like this video uh, and i'll see you in the next one bye